Hey guys, it's Marlisa. I'm the Productive Babe here on YouTube, and today I have a Scentsy Club edit to share with you guys. So we are in the process of about to transition to our spring-summer catalog uh, with Scentsy that starts on March 1st, but they have released the catalog, um, so we do know what's coming back, what's not coming back, and so... This is the time of year that I'm going to edit my club like everyone else does so that we can make sure that we're saving our favorites from the fall and winter and then also keeping in mind uh, removing what's coming back on March 1st. So uh, this is my club. I do have a quarterly club. It ships every three months. You can see the next order ships on March 10th. I currently have 64 items, which is a lot. Um, I love wax and I love scentsies, so yeah, don't judge. <laughs> um, I do have a lot here, so I understand that. But we are going to go ahead and start with removing stuff so that we can make room to add to our club some stuff from the fall and winter catalog before it goes away at the end of this month. So I'm just going to go down the list here. So we have sugar cookie. This is not available. It is discontinued. This little sign right here, you can see this is the um, basically letting you know that the bar has been discontinued. So if you do remove it from your club, it will delete permanently unless it comes back in like an LTO or if it comes back like in a future catalog. But um, Sugar Cookie didn't come back this fall and winter, so... It's still in my club, however, you can actually get sugar cookie in a brick through Scentsy Club, so there are some kind of caveats to that. Um, you know, you can't get the regular size bar, but you can get a brick of it still. So I'll show you guys that in a second, but for now, we're going to keep it. Um, sugar cookie is just kind of like a nice mixer scent. It's not a great performer by any means, but... Again, it's a good mixer. Maraschino Sugar Cookie, I freaking love this one. I wish that they would have brought this back for the fall winter catalog, but they did not. That is definitely staying in my club. Uh, then we have Jack's Obsession. I absolutely love this. It's like an apple cinnamon and it is amazing. So that is staying. We have Caramel Chestnut, my favorite Scentsy scent of all time. Um, I absolutely love this one and we're keeping it, of course. Uh, Crumb Top, this was a Bring Back My Bar, I think, from last January 2023. And we're going to go ahead and keep that for now because it's bakery and Scentsy does not have a whole ton of bakery. So, Starburst Sky. Okay, here we go. So, we can actually remove Starburst Sky because it is coming back to... Well, it was an LTO, so it was a part of the Valentine's collection last year, I believe. But they decided to bring it back into our like full catalog, which is really exciting. So we're going to go ahead and remove this since it's going to be available starting March 1st. Oh, this is always scary. Okay, so this is the sign that you get. Um, you know, it says, are you sure you want to remove your always get my bar item? This bar has been discontinued. Yes, it has been discontinued, but we already know from seeing the Scentsy catalog for spring and summer that it is coming back March 1st. So even though this like hurts my heart to do this, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and remove it. Oh, it's always like, like it's not available yet. So it's like, are they going to cancel it? But the catalog's already out. So we know it's coming back. Bright Cider Life. This is a great one. I am so glad that I clubbed it because it did not come back this fall winter. That is staying. It's just a great cider scent. Tinselberry. I go back and forth between wanting to remove this one from my club. And I just cannot decide. So for now, I'm going to keep it. It is like a strawberry cinnamon type scent. It's a little odd but it's like a fruity winter scent and there's not really a whole ton of fruity scents that come out in the fall winter catalog so for now i'm gonna keep that uh graham cracker crunch this is like a peanut butter scent uh pink berry fluff this was from the easter collection last year this we're gonna keep that strawberry lemon cake this one was a scent of the month last year i can't remember I want to say it was like April scent of the month. This one's actually coming back to the catalog um, or going to be added to the catalog. So we can remove this one. Okay, then we have Beach Daisy. I'm going to keep this for now. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this one in my club. Um, I actually haven't melted this bar yet. 
I got it like sometime towards the end of like last year or the end of like the summer season. So I think I was already done melting summer scents at this time, but I didn't get around to melting it. So I want to melt it first and then see based off that if I'm going to remove it or if I'm going to keep it. Orchard by the Sea. This is just a good bathroom scent. Um, Tinkerbell Sweet and Sassy. This is a good one. Um, although the license bars are going to be going up to seven dollars uh, starting March first, so that kind of sucks, but it is what it is, I guess. Churro Churro. That one is staying. That was a bring back my bar. Happy birthday. That's a bring back my bar. Actually, like all of these are bring back my bar. Watermelon Patch. Love and Kisses Many. My Wish. I don't know how long I'm going to keep these, but for now, they are going to stay. Plum and White Woods. I go back and forth between wanting to remove this one from my club, and then every time I pull it out to smell it, I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> it's it's really good. But I think eventually I probably will once I get a good stockpile of it. Okay. Angel 624. This is actually going to be in the spring-summer catalog. Um, along with the Stitch 626 bar. So we can go ahead and remove this one. It's goji berry and like something else. It's like a very sweet candy scent. So we're going to remove that because we know it's coming back. Fuzzy Blanket. This was to bring back my bar. I'm going to remove this. Um, I like it, but I don't find myself reaching for it. I don't really reach for lavender scents to begin with. So I am going to take this out. <laughs> Uh, okay. Apple Teeny Splash. This is not coming back. I am going to keep this because I really love this scent. It is in like a green apple. Uh, I forget what else is in it, but it's like very sweet and fruity and I love it. Uh, okay. Blue Agave and Melon. This one's coming back, so I'm going to remove it. I really, really like that one. Bonfire Beach is coming back. Thank goodness. I feel like if it didn't come back, people would cause an absolute riot. This this is just a bestseller. It's amazing. Clementine Cupcake. This one wasn't available this catalog, and it's not available next catalog. I, uh, I'm going to remove it. I have a couple of them. And to be honest, although I love the scent, and I love bakery, and I love fruity bakery, it's just not a good performer. And the... Everlasting Gobstopper that came out from the Willy Wonka collection, which you'll see is in my club. I actually like that one a lot better. It's like an orange candied scent and it's a strong performer. So I've been meaning to take this out for a while, but it, I've kind of been hesitant because it is bakery and it's fruity bakery. And I feel like Sensi just doesn't do a lot of fruity bakery, but it's going to come out. <sighs> okay. Coco Lime. Coco Lime is coming back. Um, we're going to remove that. Kakui and Coconut is also coming back. Lake My Day. I love this one for the bathroom. That's coming back. Make a Splash is coming back. Another good bathroom scent. Rainbow Sherbet. This one's coming back. This is a very strong performer. It is your typical, like, what is it? Raspberry, key lime, orange scent. It is so strong, like blow you out of the house strong. And it's coming back so we can remove that. Actually, let me make sure. Hold on. Is it coming back? Okay, yes. Okay. Whew. I was like, hold on. Oh, man. I got to be sure. Okay. Ruby Nectarine. This is not coming back. It was the scent of the month at some point, and they had it in the catalog last spring and summer, and I fell in love with it, and it's amazing. It's like an apple. I think there's an apple in there, and like, I don't know, Nectarine. It's just really, really good. Star Apple and Freesia. This one's not coming back. Um, we're going to keep that. Vitamin Unwind. Every time I smell this one, I'm like, I really love the scent of it, but it's just not a great performer. I'm going to keep it for now just because I only have one other bar of it, but I don't know how long that's going to stay in there. Okay, three thumbs up. That's staying. It is like a pumpkin spice type scent. Everlasting Gobstopper. This is what the one that I was talking about that is like an orange candy scent, and it's a very good performer, so we're going to keep that. Uh, pink Leather. This one I'm going to keep for now. I don't know how long I'm going to keep it in my club, but we will leave that there for now. It is... Um, strawberry vanilla I think wild strawberry vanilla and like pink leather 
so it's it's a good scent uh caramel praline cake i love that we are keeping it oh my god i just realized that this is at four okay we're gonna bring that down to two because i do not need four why in the world did i put four okay then we have sleigh ride it looks like i have three in my club i'm gonna go down to one i love this scent it is a beautiful tree scent if you don't like tree scents i think that you'd still like this one because it is really really good vanilla barnwood um this is like the fruity pebbles fruit loop scent i'm definitely keeping that rum pum plum i don't know how long i'm gonna keep this in my bar it's not a favorite and everyone else seems to love this one and I like I want to cure it longer to see if it performs better because the last time I melted it it just did not perform but we'll see okay white pumpkin and driftwood we are going to take that out I do like this one but it's not a love and I have other pumpkin scents that I like a lot better so we're going to take that out forever fall I'm keeping homestead holiday this is like the perfect Christmas scent I'm definitely keeping that Stitch Experiment 626 is coming back. We can remove that. Magic in Every Wish. I'm going to keep that. I really like that one. It's like a strong lemon lime scent. Okay, and then the rest here are... Um, okay, so the rest are just like bring back my bar from January of this year that I have not melted yet. So that's why they're still in my club is because I don't know if I'm going to like them once I warm them. So I'm going to keep them here until I warm them, and then after that, decide if I want any more. Um, I can already tell off cold sniff that the ones that I think I'm going to for sure keep are toasted apple butter. That one smells amazing. Frosted ginger cookie. I don't love this one, but my boyfriend made a comment about it, and he really, really liked it. And he doesn't comment on scents a lot, so for him to say that he liked this one a lot... And that it was a unique scent. I feel like I have to almost keep this in my club, even though I'm not a huge fan of it. But we'll see once it warms. Um, Twitter Pated. This one is actually coming back in, actually this month, February, like 20-something. It's coming back with like the Easter collection, I think. So as you can see, this licensed bar already says $7. The rest of the licensed bars in my club say $6.50. Um, so it looks like the change has not been updated yet. Um, let me see. Yeah, see the other ones still say six fifty, but this one says seven, and I wonder if it's because it's coming back in February. So since it's coming back, and I I don't even have this bar yet, um, I still haven't gotten it. I'm gonna take it out, and I'm just gonna order it once it comes out again. But that's interesting that that one already says $7 and the rest say $6.50. Amaretto, I'm going to put this down to one. I do not need more than one. Okay. Yeah, and then again, the rest of these, I just, I haven't melted them yet. So they may or may not stay in my club. So, okay, that is that. Let me make sure that all the quantities are where I want them to be. Caramel praline cake, do I really need two? Ugh. I feel like I have a few of these. I don't know. I'll check my inventory. I think I have a couple of these. And if I do, I'll probably put that back down to one. Um, I don't know why it was at four initially. Because I almost never put more than one. Okay, so there we go. We have removed. Let's just see for funsies like what it's at now. <gasps> it's at 267 now. So we went from like 60 something items to 44. That's pretty good, but we're about to add stuff, so <laughs> uh, we're about to ruin that. Okay, let's go into the wax bars. Yes, okay. All right, so here's where we're going to get into what is going to be discontinued and what I want to keep in my club because these are bars that I want more of or I feel like I can't live without for right now. Okay, so first thing, so we have Christmas Cottage, um, blah, 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 Snowberry. This one surprised me. I talked about this in my last Scentsy Empties video. 
this on cold did not do anything for me but then when i warmed it it was freaking amazing it was so good i had it melting for two days because i couldn't get myself to take it out like it is so good so i am adding that one to my club it is um i think it has like strawberry cinnamon what is in here loganberry peppermint yeah it's, it's so weird it's like an odd combination of scents but it was great so we're gonna keep that silver bells um also gonna keep that that is a nice kind of like winter mint scent uh mocha doodle is actually gonna stay in the catalog god knows why i don't know who buys that bar but i'm not putting that in my club and it's coming back anyway so uh french lavender luna i think those are like yeah those are definitely coming back not that I would club them anyway, but just to let you guys know. Um, yeah, blueberry cheesecake, baked apple pie. Um, those are unfortunately staying in the catalog. Um, I, I really don't know who buys those scents, but I just feel like these are taking up space in our bakery and there's like room for so much better bakery, but whatever, that's for another day. Okay. Um, king cake i'm gonna go ahead and add this one because i already know so this is still available right now you can still get it but i'm gonna go ahead and just add it to my club so that i don't forget because it is great um it's just a nice buttery like cake scent it's it's not like super sweet it's more of like a, a real like buttery bakery scent like i don't know how to explain it it's just it's really good Candy Orchard, this is the scent of the month from January. I'm going to add that to my club too for now. It is a great cotton candy scent. Um, mint to be merry. We're going to add that one. This is a nice mint scent, like a buttermint cookie type scent. Dream Big Princess, I'm going to add this one to my club for now. I don't know how long it's going to stay there, but I do maybe want a couple more of these. I want to see if this performs better, if it has some time to cure. Um, because it is pretty light. It is kind of like one, one of those light girly scents. Definitely not going to be open concept worthy, but good for like a bedroom, I think. Um, let's see. Dashing is actually staying in the catalog. That was surprising to me. I know a lot of people loved it. Um, it's like a mahogany, like amber type scent, I think. Uh, so that one's staying if you like that one. Lemon Drizzle Cake is, I think, still going to be in the catalog. It has lilac in it, and it is absolutely terrible, but uh, whatever. Give Me Candy. Yes, we are adding that. This is like a butterscotch bakery scent. Uh, fluffy Fleece. So this is staying in the laundry line, but it's going away in wax, so... I'm going to keep that. Polar Bear Hug. This is a like fruity blackberry um, type scent. It's, it's really good. So I am going to go ahead and club that one. Caramel Apple Craze. Oh, this is so good. It is like sweet caramel apples and it is just such a delicious fall scent. I absolutely love that one. And I think that this is like honestly a year round type scent. Uh, it's just, it's so good. Winterberry apple tea. Absolutely freaking amazing. If you have not had a chance to smell this, like you need to, I think everyone that smells this ends up loving it for a good reason. It's just really good. Apple cherry strudel. We are definitely going to keep that. It is a great performer and it's a nice fruity bakery apple cherry scent. Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl. Ugh, I don't love this one. I didn't love it last year and I didn't club it. And this year I tried it again to see if I would like it any better because I know a lot of people do. It is a good scent, but it's just not like a great performer. And there are other pumpkin scents that I like better. So I may regret this, but I don't know. I'm not going to club it. We can't club everything. That's That's the sad part. Uh, vanilla bean buttercream. I think that one's staying. Cider mill. Yes. Okay. So we're at the end. So let me just make sure I have everything. So cider mill. Um, apple cherry strudel. I have winter berry apple tea. And caramel apple. 
Purple Craze. Polar Bear Hug, I know I added that. Fluffy Fleece, a great laundry scent. Um, Gimme Candy. Candy Cane Buttercream, I kind of am going back and forth between this one. But I feel like I have a lot of minty scents, and I don't even like mint that much, so it's, I don't know. Uh, Make Me a Snickerdoodle, I didn't like this one. I I didn't get anything from this, so I'm not going to club that. Um, that's still available, that's still available, but I'm going to still add it anyway. Um... I think that's it. So I don't know how to, how many did we remove? We removed quite a few. Okay, so here's what we're adding: Snowberries, Silver Bells, King Cake, Candy Orchard, Mint to Be Merry, Dream Big Princess, Gimme Candy, Fluffy Fleece, Polar Bear Hug, Cam Caramel Apple Craze, Winterberry Apple Tea, Apple Cherry Strudel, and Cider Mill. That is what we're adding here. Okay. Okay. So now we're back up to 319. We're gonna update our subscription. And my next order will process on March 10th, so that will be after the new catalog is released. Um, yeah, that is my club as of right now, my quarterly club. Uh, this changes all the time. I don't do club edits. I mean, I've done one other club edit before, and that was at the end of the summer before we transitioned to fall and winter. I think I'll continue to do it that way, um, just because like between the catalog changes. I am constantly adding and removing things from my club. Sometimes instead of placing like a separate order, I'll if I know my club is about to ship and there's some new bars that I want to try, I'll just add it to my club and then remove it afterwards. So I kind of use my club as like a catch-all in a sense, but also to reserve the bars that I love, which is what it's intended for really. Um, so if you guys do you have any bars that you can't live without? I highly recommend making a Scentsy Club. You can have it ship monthly. You can have it ship bi-monthly or quarterly like me. Um, and it just ensures that you're always getting those bars that you really love. I am a Scentsy consultant, so I'll put my information down below. Um, if you guys need a consultant, um, definitely let me know if you guys have any questions about anything. But yeah, let me know what are you guys going to be clubbing from the current fall winter catalog season what are you excited that is coming back um in spring and summer or what are you not excited about that's not coming back I am curious to know I know there's a lot of opinions going around around about this new catalog so I'm interested to see what you guys have to say but anyway thank you so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys in the next one bye